Uh, Jonathan King asked us, with festival starting to open and planning, you know, planning to open again, and, and the fact that he himself is going to be attending his first festival this year, okay, kilted, um, first ever time going to a festival and first time kilted there, um, what should he do, and more importantly, what should he not do when he's at a Celtic festival? Okay. Let's start, okay, Celtic Festival. What do you do, what do you not do? Let's start off, start off with clothes, then we'll go to ancillary things. Mm -hmm. So, clothing. Um, dress for the weather, period. Um, if it's gonna be hot, maybe not wear a cap, maybe wear a lighter colored cap, don't wear something wool. Um, if it's gonna be cool, you know, fall, early spring, Maybe do wear a cap. Maybe we do wear a wool flat cap or, you know, a, a, a Glengarry or a bonnet or something. Um, Shirt-wise, if it's going to be cool, dress appropriate. Wear a jacket, you know, a, either a tweed jacket or something like that. If it's going to be midsummer, July, August, hot, sun beating down on you, you know, golf shirt, you know, performance polo kind of thing, T-shirt, depends on how much you sweat. Um, for the kilt, for the, you know, kilt, wear your kilt, period. Um, for the kilt hose, if it's going to be hot, um, you know, maybe cotton hose, or if you're not too warm of a person, you know, you could wear wool hose or just, you know, regular, you know, crew socks. Footwear, if it's, if you're wearing a tweed jacket and vest, maybe wear a pair of ghillie brogues or something like that. If it's, a, 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 a polo or something more casual if it's going to be hot if you're going to be standing on concrete maybe wear a pair of sneakers all day you know dress it down dress appropriately for the occasion yeah I would say um, uh, managing heat and managing sun exposure um, are key with going to any outdoor event you know any any concert or any festival or anything so hydrate uh, make sure you eat properly have a couple of snacks in your bag um, you're going to be standing in line a lot. The food, the food can be amazing, but it's good to have it's good to have some. Well, you know, okay, sorry. I thought you covered the clothing so well. Oh, you know. thank you. Shucks. Um, I'm I'm a I'm a believer in some in keeping it simple for festivals. Um, I would wear this. This is a pretty basic daily outfit for me. You know, so this is some this is the kind of thing I would wear to uh to a festival in a heartbeat. Except I would probably. Um, I'd break protocol a little bit and have a hat with a brim if I was worried about the sun because, you know, skin cancer runs in my family. I really don't need any of that happening. Um, but, but yeah, dress for the weather. Wear sunscreen. I would, here's, I'm, I'm going to give a really weird, uh, a few weird ones. Um, one, know where the restrooms are. If you're at a festival right. and you're drinking beer or, you know, a lot or you know, coffee or whatever, whatever your drink of choice is. Know where the restrooms are. Um, two, I will. I'm going to give my old camping hack. Sorry for people who are you know a, a bit sensitive to this, but I'll say it anyway. Um, if you're concerned about the restrooms, not you know the number one, but number two, take an emodium the morning of. If you're going to be eating spicy foods, if you're going to be eating things that, you know, may go through you, or you're concerned about, you know, going in public, going in, in, in porta potty kind of stalls, take an emodium, you're done till the end of the day, you're good. It's, it's a life hack. Sorry saying it anyway. Um, the, uh, but yeah, food, I would say if um. you're, if you're trying to be cheap, for lack of a better term, you know, have a large breakfast. Or have a large lunch right. before you go so you don't have to spend as much money on food. That being said, after the pandemic, you want to support small business, you want to support the local artisans, then maybe find, spend, a, plan on spending a little bit of extra money on food, on drink, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Buy the cotton candy for the kids, buy the treats, buy the ice, buy what, you know, whatever it is, buy a little, spend a little bit extra this year in particular. In 2022 and beyond, if you want to, you know, save a little bit of money, Eat before you go, um, and maybe you know bring a flask so you don't have to buy as much alcohol. But you know, buy a beer or two while you're there too. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any problem with pre gaming a little bit, but um, part of the experience, God knows we do. <laughs> yeah, part of, part of, I don't know what you're talking about. 
Um, part of the experience is definitely the festival food and and the drink. Yeah. You know, so so I'm all about that. Uh, but my concern is um, at a bigger venue, standing in line or rushing from one end of the venue to the other to get food before the next concert or next lecture or the next whatever it is happens. Um, sometimes you think you're going to eat and you don't. Or you're you're waiting in line for a long time because everybody wants the haggis the the haggis burgers. You know the haggis burgers are the awesome thing this this year, and it can be a while. So uh, I'm a big believer in having some snacks uh, to keep your energy up. You know. Yeah. Um, also, I, I have kids. Stuff like that. I'm, yeah. I'm so I'm, I'm used to carrying extra rations just in case. Like you know, my kid is just like, I'm hungry. I'm just like here. You know, here's some rations until we get to where we're. Shut gonna up eat. and eat this. Yeah, and and absolutely hydrate. Um, yeah, like that. So, I'm gonna say, so, uh, we could talk about all kinds of little things you could bring as hacks and stuff, but, um, I think the etiquette question is a good one, too. Like, the behavior question, and I had some thoughts on that, but what do you think? You wanna go first on that part? No, go ahead. Shall I dive in? Okay. Things I thought of that you should never do at a festival. One, don't bug the musicians between performances. Especially, like, bagpipers or but bagpipe bands when they're rehearsing um don't go up to a piper and start trying to talk to them about piping when they're obviously trying to tune their instrument okay they're off behind the tent doing the eh, 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 eh. leave them be to do what they need to do unless um, it's between sets for like if a band is selling cds after their set no that's, then that's the they, appropriate they, time if, obviously yeah, yes. if, they, if they are planning on being on display and interacting with their audience then that's different but i'm talking about give them their personal space when they're not performing or where they're not on okay yeah. Um, because I've been on the receiving end of that, um, doing demos at, at festivals. You know, the S my SCA group used to do demos, um, and you sometimes you just felt like you never got a rest. You know, you never got a chance to recoup between going out and doing your thing. So, you know, be be mindful that they're they're there for the whole day and it's exhausting. Two, do not try to affect a funny accent. Um, do not try to put on your best Irish or Scottish brogue or something and go around like, oh, sure, boy, oh, I sure love, do love it here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that is tacky as hell, in my opinion. Um, don't do that. Um, pick up your litter. Don't just drop things. Just take the extra few feet and go to the freaking trash can and, and drop, drop your trash where it belongs. Um, what else? Uh, oh, the one um, thing. Ask. Let me. I got this. Is the, the 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 one major thing? If you're gonna take somebody's picture, ask first, please. Okay. Don't just don't just do the. You know, that's rude. You know, it's like, oh, I'm not taking your picture. I'm not I'm not doing the under your kilt picture. Um, yeah. Come on. You know. You know. Be make it an occasion. Make it a, a a social interaction that the other person can enjoy, or has the opportunity to say, you know, I really don't want to right now. Be polite be honorable about photography. About it. Yeah. Yeah. Be honorable. Be honorable ask, you know, just straight up ask, be, you know, stand up, do the right thing. Yep. Um, yep. The only other thing I would say is uh, uh, kind of a little bit of a tangent is res respect people's time. Um, yeah. If you're in a vendor booth and you see that this is, this is my, I won't say personal bugaboo, but my, my thought goes to this. If you're in a vendor booth and it gets crazy busy and there's 10 people come in and you're not really gonna buy anything, you're just talking about your, your favorite topic or your favorite beer or whatever, make sure they're okay still talking to you. Same thing with a musician, make sure that you're not, um, your excitement for a topic isn't spilling over so much that they're feeling uncomfortable to get out of the conversation because they have something else to do or other things to attend to. Or if you catch a musician on the way to the bathroom between sets, right? let right. the man or the woman pee. Like, that's, that's, that goes respect, with what I was saying earlier. Yeah. yeah. Respect yeah. people's time, period. Respect the event. Respect the fact that people, vendors, musicians are there to make money. They're there to help a hundred other people, not just you. But at the same time, you want to interact with them. You want to have your good time and they want to help right. you too. But it's just right. a balancing act. So I got I got some more. I got some more. Okay. Um, you may or may not decide you need them, but take some earplugs, just in case a concert or something turns out to be a little bit too loud for you. Especially for the kids. Yes. Yes, yeah, especially for the kids. Um, bring a backpack with almost nothing in it, because you're gonna want to shop, and you're gonna need empty space to carry that stuff around, and not feel like you're lugging shopping bags or 
your yep. whiskey stone, you know, with you. Um, the car is probably going to be further away than you think. So, so have some, you know, some good cargo capacity so you can do that. And another tip, even if the little color wheel is not spun on the porta potty door, knock. Some people don't remember to latch the door, especially the later in the day it gets, and you want to avoid that, ah, you know, opening the door and they're like, ah, kind of thing. So always just a dun dun dun, little rap on the on the porta potty door before you open it. Thanks for watching. Do you knock on porta potty doors? What's the best thing that ever happened to you at a festival? What's the worst thing that ever happened to you at a festival? What makes a good festival? Tell us in the comments. Tell us your war stories. In the meantime, if you want to know more about what it's like to go to a festival or what to wear in a casual setting, check out these videos over here. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.